Hi, crafty friends. I am Natasha of Polite Creations, and I'm so excited to be joining you today on the Hero Arts YouTube channel and blog. I will be working with the July Hero Studio layering stencil, which features this cute underwater scene with fish and coral. There are four stencils in this set. So yeah, let's get right into it. I am going to be doing a mixed media type of card today. So I do have some watercolor paper as well as reactive reinkers. And if you don't have those, you can just use your reactive inks and you'll just smush them onto your surface when it's time. And I also have some white hero paste as well as the gold hero paste. I am going to create my background first. This will be created using my reactive reinkers. I am using the colors Pool Party, Blue Hawaii, as well as Sea Salt. Again, these are the reactive reinkers. If you don't have these, you can just smush your reactive ink pads on your surface kind of close together, and that will also help you create this look. So I put two dots creating two groups. And I am spraying water on my watercolor panel and then I'm going to grab a water brush and I am going to kind of mix those colors together. With the colors mixed, I add my car panel on top and smush the colors out. I do a bit of swiping of the inks and of course I don't want to let this go to waste. So I just grab another A2 Sarst watercolor panel and I am picking up all of the residual ink but this is how my panel is looking I do go back in and add a little sea salt in some areas just to break up some of the color and I use my water pen to kind of smooth that out and then I'm going to heat set this with my heat tool. I need this to be as dry as possible because I will start stenciling on this but here is how my background is looking. It is very abstract, which I love. Grabbing stencil three from the layering stencil set, I'm going in with blue Hawaii and purple galaxy and a small Hero Arts blending brush. And I am adding those colors to the small fish and the octopi that are on the stencil. There's a little octopi and squid that you can see there. And I kind of just broke the color up where the octopi are the purple galaxy and the fish are the blue Hawaii. Now I grab layering stencil four, which has the details for the small fish and the eyeballs, as well as the coral. I will be going in with some onyx pigment ink and adding all of the details to the fish and the octopi and squid. I am using a very, very small detailing brush to do this because I do not want the black to go into the area of the coral. Once everything is stenciled, I go in with my cloth and just remove the excess pigment ink so I don't have any accidental smudges when I'm adding the gold hero paste. I'm just using my palette knife and carefully adding this in sections to each area of coral. I initially smooth things down and then go back in with any excess and add that on top and kind of pat that into place, trying to minimize the lines that the palette knife can create. Once that is complete, I go ahead and lift my stencil and heat set the hero paste and I do place. recommend that you remove the hero paste and clean your stencils as you go now grabbing layering stencil one as well as a clear panel from hero arts I am going to be stenciling on the surface of that clear panel so I'm using my background that we've created as my guide to ensure that I have placement right for these fish that we will be stenciling. So you just see me lining up everything and making sure the stencil one is in place. I have my clear panel behind that and I'm just laying all of that onto my gel plate. Now grabbing my white hero paste, I create two small little mounds of the paste and I will be tinting those with my reactive reinkers. I am using 
cream sickle as well as berry smoothie. If you want it to be more pigmented, you add more dots. I try not to add more than three because that means I need to add even more paste. And for these small areas, I don't need that much paste. So I added two dots to each mound and I am spreading those where they need to go on this clear panel. Again, I'm adding a thin layer first and kind of smooth that in and then I go back in with the remainder and pat it into place. Using this palette knife, I do end up creating a few lines in my fish, but I look at it as even more texture. Um, it kind of mimics fish having scales in some of the areas, so it works out in the end. I start with my lighter color first, just so I don't have to keep cleaning my palette knife. So I started with the cream sickle and the paste and then I mix the berry smoothie in with that and I don't mind the orange being in there it provides a little bit more color variation but this is how it looks and I just add the berry smoothie paste throughout the middle of the stencil and fill in all of those fish I have sped the process up just a tad bit for viewing purposes but just take your time and make sure that you have the coverage that you like. Once I am happy with everything, I pull off the stencil and I kind of clean off the excess before I go put that in some soapy water. So this is what it looks like. You can't tell that I have anything on there. It looks like I just stenciled on the jelly plate, but that is actually the clear acetate behind. I let this sit while I did a bit of cleanup and I do hit this with my heat gun because it needs to be completely dry before I can add on layers to and all of the details for these fish. I do have a few spots where the paste spread through the stencil, but I'm going to go ahead and dry that and clean it up once everything is completely dry. Grabbing stencil two, we are going to add our details. So I am going to grab papaya core ink. It's darker than the creamsicle that is mixed into my paste. So I'm gonna add that over those orange fish. I then go in with fruit punch over an area of fish that kind of look alike. And then to finish up, I add in some berry smoothie. I do kind of mix the fruit punch and the berry smoothie over the pink fish just to add a little bit of variation since looking at the stencil there are different types of fish but I did color them all with the pink paste so this is how things are looking again it kind of looks like the fish are floating and I do hit that with my heat gun once again just to make sure there are no smears of ink so here I am carefully peeling this off of my jelly plate. As you can see, everything is intact. To go in and clean up the edges, I just use some scissors and I'm able to remove those extra little fins and tail details that hang off the edges. Now grabbing some foam squares, I add those to the backs of the fish. Since they are opaque, you will not see these. And I want to make sure that I am putting them in the corners and along the edges to ensure that this panel does not move. Once I'm happy with all the placements, I just add that directly over that background that we created. So just be careful and intentional when you start lining these up because you don't want to have any white foam showing in the back. And now we have our car panel and it looks like the fish are floating. There are different depths to this card. It creates a lot of dimension, which I love. I add on a sentiment from this month's card kit so the july card kit and it says sending you waves of happiness i just stamped that onto some white cardstock and die cut that out and for my finishing touch i'm going in with my favorite clear enamel dots from hero arts and i'm adding in the larger dots to look like bubbles 
that just gives a little more interest and I think these were perfect to mimic bubbles and here is my completed card so if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to head over to hero arts and subscribe to this month's layering stencil kit which is a part of the new hero studio thank you so much for watching again I am Natasha Polite Creations have a great day